McNulty here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to the 1st of March. So it is the 1st of the new month. And as with the 1st of every single month, we have a brand new Hero of the Month that we're going to have a look at today. Um, and it is this weird looking hunchbacked grandma um, called Anushka. I really don't know what is going on with this hero, but she looks pretty interesting, almost like some kind of creature. Um, but yeah, I think she's just a creepy old grandma. <laughs> Um, but let's have a look at this hero. We're going to see what she's all about. Let's see if she can actually do anything of any use. Uh, because I feel like it's been a long time since we've had a hero of the month that we can actually be proud of. And a hero of the month that we can actually use. Um, so first off and foremost, she is a dark hero. Um, she is of the druid class. So she gets the druid talent where she summons a little thorn minion. It really isn't that great. So I'm not going to give her props just for that. Um, she's going to be of the 2024 Legends family. No idea what the bonus is going to be for the 2024 Legends yet. Um, and she gets two passives. So the first passive she gets is a resistance against blind. So she gets an innate resistance against status elements that affect accuracy. Um, and the second passive is a health recovery on status ailment received. Uh, so she recovers 10% health when she receives a status ailment uh, or a negative stack. I mean, that is okay, uh, but it's kind of selfish. It's not benefiting the whole team. So, so far, Anushka, I am not impressed. <laughs> okay, so let's see uh, what her stats look like. If we just switch off the max power preview for a moment, she's running a team power of 923. Um, unfortunately, not quite as high as some of the other new five-star heroes. I know she's a hero of the month, but I think that we really need to make these heroes of the month a little bit more relevant just for usability. And for us laymans who can't spend thousands and thousands of dollars on the game, it really does help us when we get a hero of the month that can be useful. Anyway, um, so 861 attack, 943 on defense and 1664 on the health. So as you can see, she is a defensively built hero and I'm assuming she's going to have something to do with healing. She looks like uh, <laughs> she looks like a terrible healer, actually. Uh, but let's see what she actually does. So her special is called Strange Incense. I think you've got that right. She's pretty strange looking. Uh, so she's running at average speed and at average speed, Anushka will recover 25 percent for all 25 uh, percent health for all allies. She then steals all dispellable buffs from the target and randomly distributes them on allies. Okay, so she's stealing buffs from a single target. I guess it's all dispellable buffs, so that is something. Uh, but that measly 25% health recovery is really not very good at average speed. Um, the target falls asleep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> While asleep, the target can't attack or gain mana. All damage dealt to the sleeping target is increased by 40%. The sleeping target's woken once it takes damage. This excludes damage from minions and fiends. Um, and the element link gives all dark allies plus 10% additional special skill damage uh, for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled. Um, so this is a pretty terrible, terrible hero. I'm really sorry to say this, but she's absolutely horrible. Um, this sleeping effect is not done in the right way. Um, I get that, you know, you're putting the target to sleep. Um, but the point is that when you put the target to sleep, there should be a certain amount of turns where the target is asleep. Um, but with this one, all damage dealt to the sleeping target. Yes, it's increased by 40%. But the sleeping target gets woken as soon as it receives damage. Uh, so the problem with that is any kind of slash attack, any tile damage, you know, any kind of damage that you're putting onto that target that's asleep, it's going to be increased. But the problem is if it's not a massive hit special skill damage, then you're completely your, your, your special is completely useless. And this is the same problem that we had with Balbar. Um, so the sleeping effect really doesn't work very well. Um, I don't like this hero at all. <laughs> There's nothing good about her. I mean, 25% health recovery for all allies is just, it's really low uh, for an average speed healer. And she's not doing anything that makes up for that. Um, the fact that she steals dispellable buffs from the target is pretty cool. Uh, but then we've had the very fast speed uh, holy hero that was a hero of the month who does that 
at very fast speed. Um, so I think that she should really be a higher health recovery, dispellable buffs from all of the um, ally or all of the enemies. Um, and uh, then she would be a relatively good hero. You can just completely forget about this sleeping effect. It really is not good. Um, yeah, just honestly a massive warning to you guys on that. If you are thinking of leveling up this hero, um, just I cannot see any good use cases for her, unfortunately. And I'm not just saying that because I've got loads of five star heroes. I really don't. I really do want um, good heroes of the month, especially a dark hero of the month. I would love one that's actually really good. Um, but yeah, please let me know in the comments if you do think otherwise and you think that I've missed something with this hero. But to be fair, I just really don't think she's kind of trying to be a jack of all trades, uh, but she's a complete master of none. So yeah, bit unfortunate. Um, in terms of ether talents, again, not the greatest. She benefits from the health regen ether talent. Uh, so she regenerates 420 health over six turns. Um, and it's just delaying the inevitable um, because as I said before, if she goes off, you're going to want much more than a 25% heal. Um, so yeah, I would stick with like costume to Rigard, use him. Don't bother with Anushka. If you do pull her, put her straight into the soul exchange, um, because that's coming up this month as well. Um, and we will be going over the calendar for the events in March, which has just been released today. I'll do that in a future video. So commiserations, if you do manage to pull Anushka, really a bit of a downer for the start of the month but at least hopefully spring is coming for a lot of you guys i don't know what hemispheres of the world you're in uh, but for us it's certainly been a long and bleak winter so i'm definitely looking forward to the spring um, and yeah that's pretty much all i've got to say about the ugly granny <laughs> i think we also have a refresh on the fated summon that's coming up in a couple of days so please keep your eye out for that um, do drop us a like and subscribe to the channel as well if you don't want to miss any future videos. And as I said before, let me know if you think I'm missing something with this Hero of the Month. But as it stands, I'm not, I'm not convinced. Um, anyways, I wish you guys all of the best of luck in your summons. Um, and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.